In front of me is a Huawei P30 Pro and I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks. Um, now there is also a previous part to this uh, and if you like something that you, uh, you see something that you actually like, for instance the app drawer or uh, the gesture system, you can go check out the previous video for that. Now I'm gonna go on and uh, we're gonna jump straight to it by basically customizing the home screen that you can change uh, how many apps you have on the home screen. So to do it, we need to pinch it and go into home screen settings. And right here, you will have the layout. And from here, you can choose between these options. And when you check it, it will basically change to now that you have uh, four apps instead of five in a row and uh, and six going in a column. Um, so that's one thing. Now, moving on, it's gonna be a face unlock which is fairly nice and quick to use. And uh, basically to activate it, we'll go into down to security and privacy. And right here, you will have face recognition right here. So just tap on it. Now, if you have a pattern set, you will need to confirm it. Um, so I'm gonna do that. And now uh, it will ask you to basically scan your face and uh, you're just gonna tap on get started and you have also an, a little option here to enable pick up uh, to wake up which basically whenever you pick up a phone it will automatically unlock the screen and start scanning your fa for the face to unlock the device so I'm gonna take the phone and scan my face and uh, I'm doing it because there is a camera in front of the phone so it might be a little bit difficult so let Okay, and once it's done, it will basically finish on itself. Uh, all you need to do is just look at the phone, basically. And from here, you can basically set up uh, what it does. So unlock the device, uh, slide to unlock, which basically whenever you have a locked device and you press the power button, uh, it sees your face. You will still need to actually slide up to unlock the device, or you can just do a direct unlock, which now whenever you press the button it will and it sees and or recognizes the face it will automatically just unlock the device so let's see if when i do it it will pick up a camera or me oh okay so it did see me as you can see i didn't put anything in it just automatically unlocked and uh, just to put it further i'm gonna cover the camera and press on it and as you can see now it requires me to put a uh, either my fingerprint or a code and uh, once I tap again, it basically automatically unlocks. So that's a fairly nif nifty and quick act a way to unlock the device, and uh, maybe not the, the safest if you're if you're worrying about that. So you could have other ways to unlock it. Um, now moving on, one thing that I really like using on my on my phone uh, is the do not disturb mode. When I'm trying to fall asleep, it, it's fairly annoying when I start getting messages and I'm almost asleep. So it's a really good good option to enable. Now, to enable it, you have the Do Not Disturb mode right here. And uh, for the most part, I'm pretty sure it's going to be hidden. So you need to tap on the pencil and find it over here and just grab it and drag it over and then tap on back. And uh, you can then tap on it to enable it by just right at the spot and it's going into full do not disturb mode uh, without any schedule uh, till you basically turn it off or you can actually hold it and it will take you into settings of it where you can then customize so put a schedule for it and you can choose the day that you want it to be affected in uh, so you have a couple options you can either go uh, weekdays weekends every day or when you tap on custom it actually gives you the ability to customize which uh, particular day of the week you want it to be affected by. And then you can choose the time at which it starts and ends. And once you have set that, you can also customize further uh, how it reacts with calls. So by tapping on that, um, you can basically make a rule that uh, everybody can call you during the not disturb mode, which well, kind of seems to be useless at that point. Uh, contacts only, uh, which only people that are in your contact book will be able to reach you. Um, favorite only, so same, only favorite will. 
and uh, no one basically everybody no one can uh, can reach you at that time and same uh, same option go for messages so you can set it up however you like it um, and uh, now once this is uh, enabled on a schedule it won't be actually shown as enabled by glowing in the blue as it is when you manually enable it so don't worry about that now going back uh, another thing that i will show you is a private space which is really nice if you want to have for instance same phone for for instance at work and home uh, and basically you can while while you're at home uh, you can use a phone that is customized and have all the um, everything that you set up and and upload it to the phone uh, that is yours for instance and private space could be designed only for work and has all the files uh, that are uh, associated with your job and whatever you like there um, and to do it we'll go into settings and from settings go into <clears throat> security and privacy and then we will have the private space right down here so just tap on it and you will tap on enable and if you don't have any any ways of un, like uh, security set before you'll actually first need to set up the security so either pin or pattern and uh, you can also set up a fingerprint or i think you actually do have to set up a fingerprint anyway and once that's done uh, you will be back to this screen again uh, where you can tap on enable and then you will need to verify the pin that your or pattern as i have uh, that i have set uh, for this phone which is this one and now i need to set up a new one for the other private space which i'm gonna do right now and then confirm it once more and once i'm satisfied i can just tap, tap on done and now i will be also able to associate a fingerprint with it so i already have one set for my right or uh, left hand actually and just to show it to you uh, there's a little thing so i'm gonna unlock the device with my Give me a sec, go back. Yes, I can't. Um, trying to, oh, as you can see, it unlocks with my left hand. And uh, now to set up a fingerprint, I guess I have to go to the other one and uh, add it because I did mess up by locking the device. Um, so let's go into privacy and uh, actually I'm just gonna go through the, through the process really quickly again so you can see how it actually looks like normally. So now I have to unlock the device and enable again, uh, draw my pattern, draw new pattern twice, tap done. And from here associate a fingerprint and now I'm gonna use my other one from my right hand and uh, gonna scan it okay and once it's done you can rename it or I'm gonna for instance rename it to private tap OK and uh, now I can uh, use both of the codes either this one for the private space as you can see now it's uh, different than pre previously or you can go back to the other one and now I'm back to the old one where you have a different wallpaper and everything is different so whenever you actually take photos uh, dip it. when you take photos it actually will stay on the space that you have taken them uh, as well as downloading files and anything uh, wallpapers uh, they will be basically set to uh, to the space that you have interacted with them and uh, yeah so that is one thing and the last thing that I'll show you is a neat and quick little feature that the phone has uh, which is for the photo um, whenever the phone is actually locked you have the ability to tap double uh, volume down button to take a quick screenshot or not a screenshot uh, take a quick uh, shot from the camera and uh, automatically also open up camera up now, if you have a pattern set like I do right now, uh, you will be only able to use this. And if you try to go back, you will actually have to unlock the device uh, now. 
So yeah, and as you just seen, I don't like it because of the face unlock that I have said previously. Um, so yeah, those are all the tweaks and tricks that I have for you. And if you really like the video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.